Winnipeg to fix the vehicle. We got an engine light. And it's been stalling out on Brit at uh, intersections. Did it to me this morning too on the way in. Numerous times. Uh-huh, in the Timmy's drive through But I acted natural, no one knew. Don't worry. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. We don't know what's going on with it. So uh, we gotta bring it in and uh, get it looked at. They're gonna plug their devices in and figure out what it is. I'm, I'm guessing the engine light has something to do with the fact that the vehicle keeps stalling at stoplights and stuff. She doesn't like to go below 1500 RPM. She doesn't like reverse. She doesn't like to go slow. Just pedal to the metal or nothing. She wants to go fast. I don't like going fast. Floor it. Lighter. Don't speed. <laughs> I don't speed. I always drive like there's a newborn in the back at all times. It's my rule. Got a new work bag and a new lunch kit. How about that? My birthday present. Your first early, early birthday present. I saw it in the display there. I had to have it. <laughs> I was gonna buy it, then she said it'd be an early birthday present, so. Made my life easier, now I don't have to think <laughs> of what to get you. I didn't have a lunch kit, I've been using uh, grocery bags. And I use a grocery bag for all my stuff at work. You do have a super nice men's Tupperware lunch kit, but it's packed away somewhere from when we moved. Okay. We can't find it. But since our terrain is here in the shop, it's gonna be here for a few days. This is our new ride. Well, it's a, it's a rental. <laughs> Look at these headlights though. This is what we'll be driving around for the next week or so. What is that beeping noise? Did you hear that? This is what we'll be in for the next couple of days anyways. It's a Hyundai Kona. Hyundai Kona. I'm trying to figure out how this key works. Oh, it's a keyless, look. Push button start. So where do the keys go? I guess the keys don't go in the car. They just, well, they just have to be in the car. You don't actually put, it's not a key. Weird. Did we just teleport to the future? This is the future. Wow. So that, Weird. I wanna push the button though. Oh, did you see that? Watch this. Open the door. It'll show the door close. Oh, it did. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ha. That was fun. Okay, car's on. Um, engine stop. <laughs> Guess I don't need this now. <sighs> you guys want to all start the car with us? Now what? Push it again. System check. Probably need your foot on the brake while you do it. Ah, the combination. Such a smart wife. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, automatic, it's got heated seats. It's like a spaceship. We asked for the biggest vehicle they had. This was the biggest vehicle they had. It's smaller than the terrain, but- uh, But it's not as small as the Chevy Trax, so. Yeah, as much as we love Chevy, the Chevy Trax is not something we wanna, it's like a death trap, a little, Little go kart. <laughs> I feel embarrassed just driving it. That's like a little teenage girl car. I'm sorry, guys. It's nice, though. They might drive Chevy Traxxas. Hey, nice you know what? It's amazing on economy, like fuel economy. It's incredible. Oh, very good. Very good. Very That'll distinguished. Yes. yes. I'm distinguished. Okay, let's go. Uh, we're going to go shopping for beds today. Hopefully, they let us. Wonder if we'll fit it in here? I don't think so. Probably have to come back tomorrow with the pickup. <laughs> oh boy. Your lens is all dirty again. All right, so we'll pull out the goggles. Some called Googles. Uh, where do we want to go shopping for beds? Uh, 
sleep center, I guess. The sleep center? Well, the phone has an opinion, too. Probably heard us. How was Birchwood Chevrolet? How do you know I'm here? Stop being creepy, Google. Um, uh, okay, so sleep center, best sleep center, right? Mm -hmm. Best sleep center. How about Kern Hill Furniture? You'll find us! I don't even know if they're still open. I don't know if they are. I don't I know. know. You guys remember that commercial? Okay, best sleep center, see locations. Looks like St. James Avenue. Yeah, that would be the closest one. And they are open until 6 p.m. Yes. And they are exactly 12 kilometers away. All right. So we're looking for a queen size. We'll talk more about it when we get there. Well, we did something. <laughs> something just happened. Oh boy, see if I can get into this little go-kart. <sighs> so, I have this theory, you can't just get a rental and not buy a bed in the same day. <laughs> so we bought a new bed. <laughs> it's true. Uh, queen size. I got it from Dufresne here in Winnipeg on Ellis. You wanna tell them about it? Are you excited? We got a very expensive bed for a very reasonable price. And then we got a headboard and bed frame for dirt cheap. We got a really good deal. We didn't even know, we just picked the bed. We didn't know it was on sale. I think we got what, 55% off? Uh, he said 55 to 60% off, yeah. So pretty much it was a $5,000 bed, right? Just yeah. the mattress, no, everything together. I'm not even $5, sure. $5,000 mattress plus there was a headboard involved. Anyways, we paid less than three grand. For everything, all three items everything. together. We got a queen size mattress, a plush mattress, and we got a new headboard and bed. Well, bed. And a mattress protector, a cooling oh, mattress yeah, I protector. Oh, yeah, about the cooling mattress protector, which is good because we have dogs and we don't want a gross looking yeah, mattress yeah. like we have now. Yeah. Plus, you know, people sweat in the night. I'm a very sweaty person. Me too. Well, whatever. I run Me on too. hot. That's why we got a cooling <laughs> mattress protector. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and the bonus part is we got to go pick it up today. They have it in stock today. It's on the other side of the city on Panet Road at their uh, warehouse. But the thing is, we're in this little go-kart right now, and I'm not strapping it to the roof, though that would be funny and it would make for a great vlog. But we're going to go all the way home, get the pickup, come back oh. into the city, get our stuff, tie it down properly, bring it back home and set it up, and we're going to sleep on it tonight. All right, we got the little go-kart home. Got the pickup ready to go. Just gotta grab a little bite to eat. These keys on these uh, new age vehicles are so weird. I didn't even know how to use it. All it has to do is it has to be inside the vehicle. Anyways, just you throw it inside the vehicle and you'll push the button. And if you need the key, check this out. Where can I put you? Here, here, here. watch. Let me do this. Ha! There is a key in there, but you can't use it to start the vehicle. This is just to get you into the vehicle if this dies and you can't unlock it with the power. Fascinating, right? New age stuff. Jeez. Kids these days, I tell you what, coming up with all kinds of crazy stuff. Whatever happened to the days of just having a vehicle that you put gas in and go? Simple times, you know? Simple times. And off we go to get our bed. We picked up the pickup. <laughs> <laughs> it's my wife, ladies and gentlemen. Not the only one with dad jokes around here. Hey, what are you saying? Mercy called me plush and now I'm a dad? We won't speak of that. <laughs> I attempted a compliment before and it bombed. It and went I, very badly. And I just about had to throw myself into traffic. We need to go right over there. This train keeps going back and forth, stopping and stopping. I think he's done now though, because there's the end. Better be. This is silliness. And I thought I was taking the shortcut. I should've taken the other way. I want my bed. Do you think he heard me? I think so, he's speeding up. He seems to be. You don't want to anger my wife. No. She'll knock that train right off the tracks. 
Yeah, but then who's gonna move it? So maybe. Very true. See, that's why I don't make these decisions. Okay. There we go. About down time. It's our building right there, I think. Yeah, we own it. It's nice truck. Oh. Customer pickup, parking only. It's a good thing we're driving a pickup. Kind of a big deal. They got a pickup, they got a Ford. Ford, pickup, parking only. It's a thing. There's a sign. We got her tied in pretty good. From there to there. Heck, we're good to go. We've got this tiny little box spring here, eh? Got our bed down there, pinned underneath there. It's not going anywhere. Wonder. Yeah. That ain't going anywhere. That ain't going anywhere. You TikToking? No. Well, there's the bed. Just talking to the vlog, showing them. We got the box spring in here. The birds. Bed in there. This muscle woman oh. carried the whole thing in here herself. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I whined and sniveled the whole way in and like almost cried because my shoulder hurts so bad. I'm far too small to lift something that big. It is a heavy mattress. It's really heavy, way heavier than our king was. So I think we should probably, I guess, clear out that room and then bring the bed in, put the bed together so that we can put the box spring and stuff on there. Precisely. All Thank right. You, Watson. If we're gonna have a brand new bed, we're gonna have clean bedding. This mattress is huge, thick and heavy. I don't know what we would have done if we would have gotten king size. We couldn't have moved it. We were just talking about this, so we would have broken our backs. It's heavier than it looks. It's got a lot of springs and stuff inside of here. I don't know. It's a mattress. Okay, so this double bed has got to go in here. It'll now be a guest bed. I convinced Britt to let me keep that mattress for now. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, and that bothers her. But just in case. At least until the snow goes away so that we can move it outside or move it into our storage sheds or something without it getting all wet and mucky. So I'll just leave that there for now. I'm going to put the other bed in here. That'll be like a nice comfy soft headboard, I guess. All right. Here's our bed frame. Please don't be damaged. Please don't be damaged. Made me a little nervous because this box looks like it had been opened before or it opened on its own. Someone had like repackaged it or retaped it. So I'm going to inspect every little piece. Looks like it's all good though. Alright, nice. let's get it out of here. I think we got it all. I think we got it all out here. So here's the footboard. I don't know what that is. Here's the headboard. Got a few other things in here. We got an instruction booklet. I was getting worried because uh, I wasn't seeing the instructions and I was figuring we're probably gonna have to do this old school, you know, the manly way without instructions. But uh, alas, at the bottom of the box, at the very bottom, underneath everything was the instructions. We won't need those though. So headboard. And the footboard's already, whoa, put together. This just will slid down. I just saved the day. Wow. Footboard's right there. So I'm gonna put together the side rails here, hook it all up. Next time you see me, there will be a bed frame here. You wanna see it? I just put the box spring on it. That's what that was in. I'm gonna put the mattress on next. Here it is. All complete. I just gotta either screw it against the wall 
or uh, Britt suggested putting little felt tips because behind here there's a little bit of a, a board. You see that? Uh, it's just if I don't screw this against the wall or put some kind of felt between there, uh, well, we'll run into the problem of a... So I don't want that to be all flimsy and, uh, you know, banging around here every time we um, get in and out of bed. Might uh, also damage the drywall back there if we uh, jump into bed too aggressively. So I'm going to have to figure something out. Like I said, either secure, I'll probably secure it to the wall, but then we can't move the bed out, you know? We've got to unscrew it every time we move the bed to vacuum underneath it. Or I guess we could just remove the mattress and box spray and then vacuum under there once a month or something. Because we both have allergies and we live with dogs. So if we don't keep up with the hair, uh, I don't have bad allergies, but my nose gets a little itchy, eyes get a little itchy, and we vacuum a lot. So I'd like to be able to either move the bed out or I guess we could just... I think I should secure that to the wall. I think that's the best option. Find out where the studs are and just go straight down from here onto this little piece in here and just go straight at an angle, just straight into the stud. So that we don't have any uh, wobbly issues and stuff. I've got you balanced on a doorknob. Hang on. That made me feel good. Get in here. Come on. Okay. Tip her over and then flop her down. I can. Oh, don't hit the fan. Okay, a little bit further that way, a little bit further that way, okay, now we'll flop her down, okay, oh that's pretty high, I'm glad we got the skinny, uh, the, the skinnier box spring, oh, oh, oh boy, oh, Nice. Oh my, this thing's huge. Wow, there it is. Look how big the thing is. Gonna get her initial reaction. Watch this. Have you guys seen it? All right. Here she comes. Here she comes. Drum roll. How am I gonna get up there? It's high, isn't it? Good thing we got that skinny box spring. Can you imagine if we would have gotten the full size box spring? It would have been like up here. And I would have needed a little rope ladder or something. I would have felt like a pirate getting into bed every night. Oh, it's lovely. Like, oh, I love it. So the only problem I was telling everybody is the headboard. Uh, I'm gonna have to secure it to the wall because I mean, if we come in here and we, we're in a hurry and we jump into bed a little bit aggressively, <laughs> That's 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 gonna damage our drywall. So we can't no exactly we we, we we can't come in here and jump in too aggressively. No trampolining on this bed. I'm gonna have to secure the headboard. That's the one thing I gotta do yet, but Or put something very felt like behind there. Yeah, we could do that, but I still don't like the fact that it wobbles. Yeah. It wobbles like this. I I'd rather just have it screwed right onto the, the studs, and then we can always Pull the mattress off, get the dog beds out of here. Pull the mattress off and then put the vacuum in there. So we'll have to pull the mattresses off to move the bed anyway. How are you gonna screw this stuff? You know what, I'm gonna let you handle it. Well, I'm gonna figure out where the studs are because I'm an official stud finder. Found one. 
Technically, I'd be the stud finder because I found you and married you. Well, then maybe you should find where the studs are. Hey, tomorrow's five years since we first met. Wow, that's Monday, uh, March 7th. Sunday, March 7th. Sunday, March 7th is tomorrow? Today's Saturday, dear. That's right, I don't go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I gotta lay in here all day. Yeah. How's Diesel's not even gonna be able to get up here? Oh yeah, he could jump up. I mean, he's an old man, but he's still got some spark in him. <laughs> Diesel, I don't know. So, before we actually lay on here, we're gonna put the, uh, we have a cooling mattress protector yeah that's gonna go over so the dogs and us uh if we sweat at night or anything uh it won't actually get onto this mattress this mattress should look just as white and perfect in like five years as it does right now or if we, if we take a, care of it a puppy and he pees on the mattress not naming any names wiener he destroyed my first mattress <laughs> <sighs> yeah it's a uh, well for me it's nice i don't want to sit on it yet because we no. want to get our protector no. on there but it's a plush. What brand is it? I don't even know what brand it is. <laughs> we just bought it. It doesn't say. Um, it has a fleur de lis on it, but the fleur de lis is facing the bottoms that way. Is this mattress on here backwards? Then you guys see that? I don't think it matters. There's a fleur de lis, but it's gonna bother me. So I think that's the foot side. I might have to flip this thing. I don't think it matters. You're just supposed to flip it back and forth to keep it even. Um matters to me. I don't know. What is? What is under there? We bought it at Dufresne Furniture and apparently Dufresne and Ashley Furniture are the same company now under this, the Dufresne logo. Yeah and this was they must have bought out Ashley. Ashley must have gone out of business or something but. What's this something on this side here? Well, it's called Welcome to Stearns and Foster. Stearns and Foster. Welcome to Exceptional. Oh there we go. Look at this. Well, exceptional. Yes. Yes, very distinguished. Yes, yes, yes. Look at their bed. Very distinguished people. And it must be French because of the fleur de lis, I'm guessing. Warranty. We have 10 year warranty on this. Yeah. 10 years. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, there's the French side. Okay, well, I'm going to flip this bed around because the fleur de lis facing that way are going to drive me nuts. Get the honors? You, you get the honors to be the first one to lay on it. Right. Diesel, you stay down. Let's Don't not too aggressively. Remember what we said? Right. Okay. Gently. Gently, get on the bed. Right. You can get up there fine. Diesel, you stay down. All right. <laughs> first thoughts. So plush. Plush? So cool. It's yeah. cold. Yeah, we got this oh. uh, mattress protector that's. Uh, what's it called? The cooling one. Uh, yes, it's moisture, waterproof barrier, uh, refreshing, cool touch. Look at this guy. Look at this guy giving me this face. No, Diesel, not yet. We need not yet. On it. You can try it out tonight. He's never gonna leave this bed. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can put this down somewhere, and I'm gonna come and give it a shot too. All right, I'll move over for you. Okay. Okay. Stay. Stay down. All right, so, oh, it's a little, a little hard. Maybe keep your feet off, because they're cold oh, on the dog here. Okay. Give them back. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Giving the people a show, a real one. I know, right? <laughs> Watch out. That is. Oh, it's so cool. It is very it cool is. to the touch. You so, don't say, let me try. So plush. It's so down. fluffy. It is nice. And now all we need to do is buy a new comforter set. <laughs> but I'm just uh, ending this off the next day. Uh, we both slept amazing last night. Britt says she hasn't slept that good in years. Happy wife, happy life. And life just got a lot happier. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. There's no video for Sunday, but we'll be back to work Monday. We'll see you in our next video.